हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू आई एम एम एस एक्सल एक्सपर्ट टूटोरियल सीरीज टुडे इज डे थर्टी सिक्स एंड टुडे वी विल बी वर्किंग ऑन हाउ टू सेंड ए टेबल एंड ए चार्ट इन एन ईमेल फ्रॉम आउटलुक यूजिंग वीबीए और मैक्रो राइट सो एज आई प्रॉमिस इन माय लास्ट वीडियो वेयर वी एक्चुअली यू नो सॉ दैट यू नो हाउ वी कैन एक्चुअली सेंड ए ई मेल यूजिंग द वी बी ए सो टूडे वी आर एक्चुअली गोइंग टू एड ए टेबल इन द चार्ट इन टू दैट आउटलुक ई मेल एंड देन सेंड इट अक्रॉस so let's start so in the exercise uh, sheet so i have break down the steps over here so the first we will be opening the outlook and then composing an email uh, then we are going to add a chart and a table and then we are going to display or send it and this is the macro button which we have from the last video i'll show you uh, what all there is there in this particular button uh along with that this time we have here uh the stock price of infosys uh nifi.ns uh this is a daily price from august 2020 till uh, uh 9 18 along with the volume right and this is the chart based on this uh data so what we are going to do we are going to um open a email uh using the vba from the outlook and then we are first going to add the chart and then below that we are going to uh, you know paste this particular uh, table so let's start if i go and take you to this particular uh, code so this is like what we have mentioned in the last video i'll just change couple of things over here uh before i do that i'll just take you through what we have done in last video so in the last video we first open uh, an outlook and then we open an email inside the outlook and with that email we um, you know put the uh, email address over here and then the subject line and the body line uh, body information and then we displays this particular uh, information uh, let's let's check if it is working now or not i'll just hit the button run button yeah it's working fine so we can see although i don't want to send it so now what we are planning to do um, we are going to stick uh, with this information till here but after we have displayed the email we are actually including uh, a chart and a table so for that there are couple of things which i have to you know add into the reference of it so these things were uh, the first is i am going to use the outlook active x button object so that is the one which i have to add so this is the one which i have to add and you can see like microsoft active x data object 6.1 library use the latest one which is available in your system and the second one is i want to use microsoft word document so that's this one right so i'm going to actually use the word editor inside uh, you know outlook inspector uh, which will help me to paste my table and the chart so let me just give the name to my table so that it's easy for me to you know uh, you know copy paste so just tick select the data and i can say that you know this is uh, stock data or something like that yeah so now i know that my stock data is this one right let me go back to the uh, code so let's start once i have displayed the information what i am going to do i am calling a outlook inspector as outlook dot inspector along with that i am calling a word doc as word document right so since we have one table and one chart so i'll be calling two documents for that so i can just add one more document over here document and like over doc and over doc1 as word document right okay great now let's start working to fix a chart so for that also we need to create a dim uh or chart object as chart 
object right so let's start with chart for each uh, o chart ob object in active sheet dot chart objects so what i'm doing is i'm looking for all the charts inside the active sheet so even though we have only one but at least i'm looking for all all the possible charts available in that particular active sheet so what i'm going to do for this chart object get inside the chart and then the chart area and then copy it once i have copied it i'm going to set the o outlook inspect as my get inspector right get inspector sorry for the phone call okay so when i have once i have set it up uh, then i'm going to set the word doc so i'm again going to set my word doc as inside my o outlook inspect i'm going to address word editor right so now what i'm going to do i'm calling again a uh, you know a range probably so let's say word range and this range is inside my word doc so this is my word doc dot application inside my application i will have the active sheet or active i will have active sheet or i can say active document dot content right so what i have done inside the word doc i have uh, uh, you know i have set it up a range so inside the word range what if i want to have let's say i want to paste the data after a blank then we can always ask and put a insert after this is what we can do along with that what we can also do we can actually collapse now and the direction would be let's say um towards the end now once we have copied the chart i would like to paste it now what we have done as of now for, for the for very first looped chart in the active sheet chart um, objects uh, we have copied that into an outlook in using an outlook inspector where we use the word editor inside that word editor we used a word range and then we give one space i mean you can say one line as a as a space within each charts right and then we can say next so this is what we have done for the chart let's take an example what if we have to take uh, you know the same thing for uh, table so in that case uh, i would use again a set o outlook uh, inspect as dot get inspector then i would set oh uh, one second sorry then i would set again another word doc one as inspect dot word editor now i'll just copy the information which is there in terms of table so now i know that active sheet has a range called stock data now this i can actually copy once i have copied it now i can follow the same process of uh, you know 
word range one where or application dot active document then content right then i want my range as let's have again want to you know insert a empty row then i want this range to collapse again in the same direction and the direction would be towards the end and then i want to paste it now this portion which we have just written this portion will help us to paste the table right so we have just added this set of information where in the first inform set of information we are actually looping all the possible charts available in the active sheet and then we are actually pasting the uh, table we can use the for each part as well if we have multiple tables in the next video, I'll show you how to add multiple charts and multiple tables in an email using BBA or macro. So let's test it and uh, let's see if this is working fine or not. Okay. So if I just click run button, there is a debug over here. There is a chart. Oh, the name is wrong. I'll just say chart and then start. I'll just say allow for let's say five minutes. I normally don't allow this information. Here again we have a debug and the debug says, uh, oh here the name is wrong. It's a typing mistake. So I'll just take this thing and put it over here and run it. Right. So you can see in my email we have the chart and then we have the table below it. Right. So that means it's working fine. Let me test it one more time. Right. I'll just click on the run button and allow it, allow it and just say close. Right. So you can see that we have it right. So you can see that, you know, I'm able to actually add the chart and the table. And this way we can actually add a chart and a table in email. So this is it for this particular video guys. Sorry for the disturbance. That was my kid. Uh, since actually I'm working from home during the Corona. So excuse me for that. In the next video, we will be covering how to add multiple charts and multiple tables in a, in a, in a particular email using VBA macro. So thank you so much for your uh, support guys. Uh, please like these videos and subscribe to the channel and if you are new and if you have any questions you can always write into any of the comment uh, any of the videos comment so I'll reply back to you in case you have anything personal you can always email me on this particular email address that is nishanthggn1 at the rate gmail.com thank you so much yeah bye